Hello everybody and welcome back to the Chaz Man Show. My name is Chaz Riddle and I am your host. This is episode number four, December the 19th. Okay, um, and by the way guys, I want to thank everybody for tuning in and subscribing. Uh, getting a lot of good feedback. I want to keep this going. Um, I've got a new microphone that's coming in the mail tomorrow, so the audio is going to improve quite a bit after today's show. Okay, starting off with some bad news. Um, Penny Marshall, uh, revered and award-winning director, uh, movie actress, movie producer, movie director, television star, comedian, writer, passed away yesterday at the age of 75. She died of complications due to diabetes. She was born in 1943. She was married to Rob Reiner for 10 years from 1971 to 1981. They have one daughter named Tracy. Now, the people that may uh, not remember Penny Marshall from her television show, this is where I first uh, found out about her, watching her play Laverne DeFazio on Happy Days, and then Happy Days, and then later on getting her own show, uh, the, the uh, Laverne and Shirley show, or just Laverne and Shirley. And um, I remember her coming down the street there uh, outside of the Schatz Brewery, singing Schlemiel, Schlemazel, Haas and Pfeffer Incorporated, and all that with Cindy Williams. Um, then she would go home and she would have herself a, a drink of, uh, which was god awful by the way, because I tried it, um, milk and Pepsi. But in her career, uh, Penny Marshall was the first female director to direct a movie that grossed over $100 million at the box office. That was in 1988, uh, Big, starring Tom Hanks. And also she became the first female director to do $100 million movies a second time. This was with uh, A League of Their Own starring Gina Davis and again Tom Hanks in 1990. She also directed um, The Awakening starring Robin Williams and Robert De Niro. So very talented lady. Uh, she, uh, If you remember the TV show, uh, back to that, she was the lady with the L on her on her chest there on lapel on every, every uh, shirt or uh, uh, dress she wore. She had the L right there. Uh, that was her trademark. Um, now, her quote to some of her, her attack on life was this. She said, I have a strange combination of fearlessness and massive insecurity. Well, she overcame all those things and uh, what a nice legacy she leaves behind. Um, she was the younger, she is the younger sister of Gary Marshall who, as you know, produced uh, Happy Days, Laverne and Shirley, Mork and Mindy, and then also was the director of Pretty Woman, starring uh, uh, Julia Roberts and Richard Gere. Uh, anyhow, uh, in Big, what's the big line from that movie? Uh, uh, <laughs> not Big, um, A League of Their Own. There is no crying in baseball. So there is no crying today for Laverne uh, Penny Marshall. She will be missed. Okay, moving on to the movie theater. What's in movie theaters today is the return of Mary Poppins starring Emily Blunt. This is a uh, continuation of the 1964 classic starring Julie Andrews. Don't look for Julie Andrews as a, in a cameo in this movie today. However, if you do want to get a little more Julie Andrews, look for her in, in Aquaman, uh, at least the voice uh, in Aquaman tomorrow starting, uh, starring uh, Jason Momoa as Aquaman. Okay, and uh, but in uh, Mary Poppins Returns, uh, look for uh, Dick Van Dyke. He uh, plays a character in both Mary Poppins. Uh, he does, and he does, does his own dance too, from what I understand. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm looking forward to going out there this afternoon. Okay, um, let's see what else is going on in movie theaters tomorrow. You've got Aquaman starring Jason Momoa. Now against that, you've got Bumblebee. Uh, and then you've got another movie that's starting up, starring Steve Carell. It's called Welcome to Marlin. This is a movie directed by Robert Zemeckis. Robert Zemeckis, as you know, gave us Forrest Gump and Back to the Future. So I think that's pretty much a winning combination. Steve Carell, Robert Zemeckis. I think it'll be something you'll really enjoy. I'm looking forward to going to see that one. And if you don't uh, want to go see something like that, maybe you can check out Vice, starring Christian Bale and Amy Adams. I believe this is their third movie together. They were in, let's see, um, American Hustle, 
and they were also in The Fighter. Um, okay, uh, what else is in the movie theater still playing is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, uh, The Mule starring Clint Eastwood, Mortal Engines is out there, not going to be for long though, uh, Dr. Seuss is in its seventh week, Ralph Breaks the Internet, Creed 2 starring Michael B. Jordan is still out there, definitely worth uh, watching. Again, this is the um, this is a story, a continuation. Um, Adonis Creed, son of Apollo Creed, fights Ivan Drago's son. So, if you saw Rocky IV, this would be a nice follow-up. And plus, you really can't go wrong watching uh, Sylvester Stallone uh, reprising his role as Rocky Balboa. And I uh, look for a couple of surprises in there, a couple of surprise cameos in there. Now, if you don't get your in superhero movies, if you don't, haven't got enough with Aquaman and Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, go ahead and check out Once Upon a Deadpool. This is the PG-13 movie. It's a re-editing. Uh, Ryan Reynolds put together a combination, more of a tribute sort of kind of thing, uh, to The Princess Bride starring Fred Savage, and you'll see Fred Savage in this movie as well. Well, that is today's movie news. That is the news for today. Thank you for joining me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and share, and we'll see you again next time.